So I don't really know what I'm going to talk about today, so whatever I talk about, I'm just going to take its course from this natural thing. Um, so, I got a new phone and I don't really like it because it's straight talk, but... What the fuck, you fucker! Okay, anyway, um, yeah, uh, it's cheaper and worse than my new phone, but it's like a lot better on the price and stuff. Um, I mean my old phone, not my new phone. This is the new one, and, and it's a lot cheaper, and you need to shut the fuck up, Thomas! Okay! Thank you! Okay! Okay. Anyway, um, that annoys me a lot on Facebook when people just send you, like, six messages in a row, and then your sound's like, beep, 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 and then it's just like, dude, give me a fucking chance to reply! And then it's like, sends you a hundred messages anyway, Then it's like, okay, you know what, go fuck yourself. But, of course, you don't really say that, because you would be saying that to a friend, most likely, unless if you're, like, in a Facebook war with someone, but that's a different thing. Which brings me to another topic on Facebook. Facebook, which is when people post every single thing that happens in their fucking daily life. It's like, we don't care if you just had a McRib at McDonald's and it was like, the best thing of your life, but it's like only lasted a week or whatever. Yeah, uh, we, we all know that the McRib is probably like, one of the best things that you ever ate, but still, there's no reason that you need to go on po Facebook posting it. And then, it's not the, like two seconds later, you post, oh, now I gotta take a shit from eating that McRib. Then it's like, we don't fucking care if you need to take a fucking shit. That is your own fucking personal business, not our words. <laughs> Choking this bit there. Um, but. If you're posting like, oh my god, I'm having the best time of my life, you're not really having the best time of your life. Because if you were having the best time of your life, you wouldn't be on Facebook posting it. You would be out there doing it. There's a difference now, isn't there? Yeah. So, people on Facebook can be pretty annoying. But, um, it's a pretty good thing to just, like, social thing like MySpace was, um... But MySpace went out of style because it kept on changing. Like, Facebook is changing, so we need to get a new website so we can leave Facebook. Like, it's even better website than Facebook. Or we should just go back to MySpace. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know why I think that may be a bad idea, but everyone just loves Facebook so much, and I don't really understand why. Um, yeah, so... Tom. Um... From my space. He even has a Facebook. That, that's kind of strange that he would like abandon his own website. I like that top on me. Don't you like that top? It's Abby Dawn. I like that top. It makes me look like a pop punk anorexic slut. Um, that's what one of my friends said. Yeah. And which reminds me, today I am wearing this one. What the hell? And then, um, yeah. Doesn't make me look as anorexic and pop punk are slutty -ish. Like, but I, I like the whole white and black thing going on there black and yellow black and yellow black and yellow i don't know um yeah so which reminds me this year not 2012 but in 2011 there were a lot of annoying songs for instance any song justin bieber made um i think friday yeah friday that was 2011 that was also very annoying Person of Interest by Rebecca Black was also annoying. My Jeans by Jenna Ross. Um, th there are a lot of too, too many annoying songs. And some of them became famous, like Black and Yellow. It's like, what the fuck is that point of the song? I don't know. I only listen to the Black and Yellow, Black and Yellow, Black and Yellow part. And that's just, like, really annoying. Which reminds me, I whip my hair back and forth. Which that song is also annoying. But other than that, I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. It's actually a good song, but... It, it just like whip your hair back and forth. You know what, bitch? Stop copying Chris Crocker. He is the one that taught you the hair flip, not your father. Because your father doesn't have any hair, Willow. Yeah. Um, speaking of Willow, Willow Sage Hart, the baby of Pink and Casey, I think is how you, his name. Um, yeah, she was born in Willow Sage Hart. Yeah. I wonder how she's gonna grow up. What she'll be like, if she'll be like Pink or not. Um, yeah.
what else is there to talk about? What happened in 2011? I don't know. Well, a lot of things happened for me in 2011, like personal things. I got my belly button pierced, but that's nothing too personal. Um, but a lot of deep personal things that have changed my life happened in 2011. I've learned not to trust people so easily, easily, like I had before. Um, I've learned that people aren't always how they seem. And I've learned if a relationship doesn't work out like the first two times, it's probably not meant to be. Um, because I had this, um, thing, I don't even want to call it my ex-boyfriend or anything. Um, and then we dated like seven times on and off, and then it just would not work out. And now I'm glad that I'm finally out of that relationship. It, it was like more of hell than my two-week girlfriend was back in sixth grade. And it was like, she was like very possessive and everything, but let me tell you, the one, the, the, the one that lasted like seven months on and off was way worse than that one. It's like hell, it's like bang. And um, yeah, this video is getting pretty long, and I've been talking the whole time, so I'm just gonna go. Yeah. See ya! Peace out, Girl Scout!